We present a twisted look at the history of business, or as Rusty Nails likes to call it, history. Here is Russ. Hey, guess what? You know, from time to time, we have all had a chance to say, what do you think, I'm made of money? You know, if you were made of money, you would be a big pile of pulverized rags. Really? Rags. Right. Why, is rag? that what money's made of? Absolutely. No, rags? I'm here to tell you why, my friend. Paper money is not paper. Now, here, generally, the paper used is different from ordinary paper. It, it's been made from a combination of like a couple of dead trees and, and yeah. some fabric fibers. It's a like part oak, part tidy white. Like that like, <laughs> <laughs> How's that? Is it like the rags that they use when they go to the car wash? Well, it's just that a rag, you know, would be like more a rag, linen, like linen, cotton, a linen. little bit of silk. Well, the formula for paper used in U.S. money uh, changes every so often, too. The formula, so it's more difficult for counterfeiters and old Timmy Geithner New treasure oh, secretary. Yeah. He's, he's about a, 14, by the yeah, way. Yeah, and he's uh, coming up with a new recipe. Actually, he's 47, and he should pay his taxes any day now. <laughs> 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 Meanwhile, back at the normal paper, which glows yeah. in the dark and dollar bills won't, but normal paper is all made out of cellulose, which comes from trees. And the, the trees cut down, chemically broken down, and then those cellulose fibers are yeah. formed, very thin sheets, which are create paper. But yeah. the paper used to print our money, on the other hand, made out of rags, cotton, linen. Where do you get this? Yeah, this well, is good stuff. Yeah, well, this they, is like the money clip. Thing. They grab they grab rags, you know, cotton, linen, yeah. and they beat it. They take it into a back room in, in the treasury and they beat it. And then they, yeah. they create its own super yeah. strong fibers. Now look closely at a dollar bill and you're gonna see that it contains red and blue fibers too. Now that's silk. Oh my god, you look so sure. good in silk. Now, it's, it's more, so now, is that, is that is that a security feature, or is that just this is more counterfeit strategery? Oh, okay? strategery! So it turns out that yeah. rag fibers bond together much more firmly than wood fibers. Rag fibers are basically unaffected by water, Which whereas is when you get thrown in the pool after a big party, yeah, your wallet's in your pocket, you still got money left. And and the wood fibers, well, they absorb water and they come apart. So you know, if you ever uh, paper money can make it through a wash just fine. Yeah, it's much more resilient. It resists wear and tear. But the cellulose paper just comes unglued. So the special paper is made by Crane Paper Company of Dalton, Massachusetts. Can we buy way. stock in that company? I think so. I mean, seriously. They are just printing money. Every dollar bill is... <laughs> Literally. Have you, have you ever heard anybody call a dollar bill a, a crany? A crany? A crany. No, a crany. A crany. No one does. Never have. But many Americans have made up nicknames for money. Guess what? Okay. The trading of buckskin furs in the colonial times created the name buck for a dollar. Really? You know that, my So friend. give me a f 10 bucks, that's 10 buckskin. No, 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 that's a saw buck. And that was from, oh, this comes okay. from the wooden legs on a sawhorse, yeah. which is form an form X. X, which is the Roman numeral for, for 10. 10. Double saw, saw bucks, buck. 20 bucks. There you go. I How about the $100 no. bill? C note. You know what the C is short for century, meaning 100, or. The C is the Roman numeral Boy, for you 100. Are good, mister. Take it there. In the 20s, money was nicknamed for what it could buy. It was called bread or dough. One name for counterfeit money became sourdough. Well, and the next time someone looks at you and says, you look like a million bucks, you you're like trying to million. relate to the value of the cash, not the actual material. Or maybe you do resemble <laughs> 2,200 pounds of cotton linen and a little silk thrown in there. And let me say today, Shelly, you look like a quarter mill, my friend. Thank you, my friend. Yeah, there you have it. Look at what your money is made of. That's pretty good stuff. I was going to tell you, you know?